So I've been with WEC for nearly 25 years, and in all that time, I don't think I've seen, thank you, <laughs> it's been my honor, I don't think I've ever seen the environment more center stage in our politics or our headlines than this past year. At times, it has felt like we lived somewhere else. We choked on the air as wildfire smoke kept us inside, and Washington State experienced the worst air quality in the world. It was frightening and sad, taking the joy out of a time that we treasure after our long, rainy winters to get outside and be together with our family and friends. But we vowed to double down on fighting climate change, to give our kids back summers of blue skies and playing outside. And if that weren't enough, we grieved with the orca mother, Taliqua, as we watched her carry her dead calf for 17 days. We looked hard at ourselves and our role and recommitted to act to restore Puget Sound and to save our orcas. So here we are, staring down some big challenges and rising up to meet them. You all have been with us on this journey to build a broader, more effective environmental movement, and it's reflected in this room tonight. Our biggest fight of 2018 was the climate ballot measure, I-1631, that pitted our united coalition against the oil industry. We lost that battle, but the in the process, we built the broadest, most diverse coalition in state history, including communities of color. Yes. including communities of color, health advocates, labor unions, businesses, and faith organizations. And we trained thousands of new activists ready to fight for climate action. Big Oil may have won this round, but we are turning the tide. Our partnerships, like the Alliance for Jobs and Clean Energy, weren't built for one election. The climate crisis will define the rest of our lives and our children's lives. We know we can't just nibble at the edges of this problem. We need transformational change. We've got to get off fossil fuels fast, and we have to live up to our values by grounding solutions in a just transition for workers and equitable policies that invest in our hardest hit communities. We know we can only get there together because working in partnership gets things done. And in 2018, that's exactly what we did. We finally designated Puget Sound a no discharge zone. We passed... <laughs> We passed the Oil Spill Prevention Act through the legislature, and Washington is still undefeated, a perfect 12 and 0 against new coal and oil terminals. We won these fights because we listened to those communities on the front lines. We talked about our shared Washington values, and we never, ever gave up. Some of these fights are still tied up in court, and can we have a round of applause for our lawyers at Earth Justice for always keeping us a step ahead of oil and coal. Thank you, Earth Justice, for enforcing the law to protect our home. In these coal and oil fights, tens of thousands of people chose to make an impact, and now those same people are working together to build the clean energy future they want for their communities. Across the state, cities and counties, Vancouver, Tacoma, Whatcom County, Spokane, and King County are changing zoning laws to ban new fossil fuel infrastructure, keeping the dirty stuff out and saying yes to the clean, sustainable future our kids deserve. And that future has to be as real for Chihuahua, Klickitat County, and Wenatchee as it is for Seattle and Tacoma. A first step on that path is our community forest bill that's working its way through the legislature right now. Communities, we're working hard, <laughs> thank you. Communities are proving that they can manage and log their forests in a responsible way and diversify rural communities at the same time. With smart policy like this, we are one step closer to WEC's goal of one million acres of sustainably managed forests in Washington. <laughs> I don't have to tell you that the last several years have not been easy, but through it, Washington has chosen to lead. We've made progress not in spite of adversity, but because of it. We are a smarter, more powerful organization and movement because of what we've been through together. 
As you're going to hear uh, more about later from Joan, we are making more progress this year in Olympia than we have in a decade. And that's because of all of you in this room. Thank you for standing with us and making us stronger every day. So now I'm excited to welcome our next speaker. He is proof of the effect we all can have when we choose to make an impact. REI is an iconic Washington business, as synonymous with the outdoors as it is with Northwest identity. And that reputation stems from their values. REI helped organize the outdoor industry to speak out against fierce attacks on our public lands and natural resources. And here in Washington, REI was the first major company to endorse last year's climate initiative, helping galvanize business support for the campaign. Ben Steele is a board member of Nature Bridge and a lifelong Northwest resident. He is REI's executive vice president and chief customer officer, and over the last five years has helped shape their mission into action. Please help me welcome Ben to the stage.